Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Kevin, back with another drawing video. Uh, we're doing pumpkin number two today for Halloween. So we'll try and come up with another scary pumpkin face for you and uh, hopefully you can use it in many of your various projects. I think what I'm going to do in this video is try to make one with an open mouth and some fangs and we'll see how it goes. So get a pen and paper or pencil and paper and start following them all. I'm going to draw a shape just like this and we're going to use that for his mouth. We'll start with the mouth first here. Okay. And on the top right here, I'm just going to draw a small wavy line. And then we can use that for a gum line and we'll draw a couple of fangs. And you can put as many as you want here. Uh, you could do more, you could do less, it's up to you. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Okay, and on the bottom, what we're going to do is draw another gum line, okay? Because the first shape we drew was the actual outside of the mouth. And now we'll put some fangs down here. Just about like so. Uh, maybe one more. There you go. Okay, now we want to outline uh, this, of course, a little bit more after that. You can put something on the inside if you want, hang a new villa there or whatever, but we're not going to make him that, that complicated for this drawing. Well, let's outline the mouth a little bit more. Just follow the shape you already drew pretty much. this copy and what we already did okay and then of course we're gonna have to go around and color the inside of his mouth in I'm trying to do a bunch of these like I said before Halloween I promise you guys I'll give you a lot of drawings and ideas for carvings hopefully we'll get to some of the carvings soon but I know we've had plenty of pumpkins all over YouTube everybody's carving pumpkins and I've done a few myself We'll have to do some more, but uh, most of the time though people need designs for pumpkins or ideas more than actually how to carve the pumpkins, especially on this channel and on others. We've done plenty of them already and covered them. You can always refer back to those videos too where we carved pumpkins uh, last year. And like I said, many other channels you can check out Jordy. He's always carving pumpkins over there, carving fusion. Every Halloween, Ryan Cook has carved some pumpkins. Just carved Rob. I mean, we're, everyone carves pumpkins on Halloween. So what we're doing is we're trying to come up with ideas that we can put on our pumpkins. Not necessarily so much carving the pumpkin itself, but uh, like I said, if it's going to be requested that much or you know it's that important to you guys, I'll actually carve a couple of these out. Right now, I'm more interested in getting ideas for the pumpkins and then just let you guys go nuts and put whatever you want on your pumpkin okay uh, I am gonna compile all these and put them in a little ebook like I said I'll put that in the links when it's done and every year you can always refer to it and you'll have plenty of pumpkin faces that you can use for signs they don't have to be chainsaw carvings guys I mean you can use these for signs you can use them for stickers you can use them for whatever you really like I'm just going around here and putting some lines here around the outside of his mouth just trying again to come up with a different design this is number two and we'll try to get as many as we can in before Halloween if anything it's plenty of uh, practice for our drawing skills. Again, cut the pumpkin out's not going to be the hard part. It's actually coming up with a different design, especially if you want to make a bunch of them for Halloween. So let's give him some eyes that slope down on this guy. I guess would look pretty good, huh? Since his mouth is open so wide. So I'm going to make two ovals like that, put a line under there, 
and we'll put a line under there. Give them a little eyeball inside like that, color that in. And after Halloween, we'll be making Christmas things. And I'll be doing a lot of drawings for Christmas also, but uh, a lot of carvings too, hopefully. Depends on the weather, but I am switching to giving you guys designs a lot on this channel because that seems to be the problem is drawing and people having something actually come up with an idea for their carving. Okay, this right here, all he needs is a pumpkin shape. So I'm just going to draw around here any kind of shape as long as it's fairly pumpkin shape. It doesn't have to be totally round. Again, it's the face that we're interested in on this. You can change them up any way you like. And I might even give him, when I give him a paint job, I could put moss on there. That's what this could signify. Or I could, it could be different uh, colors for paint. I could paint them orange with a couple of black spots like this. Just anything different to change them up from the other ones that I'm doing. And obviously the mouth on this one is the most important thing. You can use any kind of eyes you want, even. Any kind of nose, or just insinuate a couple of holes like I'm doing here. And we already have a whole different, totally... Kind of scary pumpkin, I guess. Uh, if I draw lines through here to insinuate that he's a pumpkin. Like I said, it's not going to take much to turn him into a pumpkin. Maybe do a little uh, where the stem attaches to the pumpkin here. I'll just put a little. I, I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> that. That's the bottom of the stem, I guess, where it's going around here. That'd be the, one of the pieces that you cut out if you're making a jack o' lantern, I guess. And any little lines that we darken up, you know, for our pattern to help keep it uh, popping. I'm just going to go around and outline those and darken them in a little bit. But this right here, for the most part, is pretty much uh, the second pumpkin in our pumpkin designs. And I'll try to come up with more. You know, like I said, I'll try to get one a day on. I don't know if I can get one video a day on, but I'll definitely at least have one pumpkin. If I miss a day or two, I'll do two pumpkins the next day, or the next video, I should say. All depends on time. So this right here can give give you another idea for another design. Okay, he's not that hard uh, if you followed along and saw how easy it was to draw that. So draw him on your piece of wood, cut your pumpkin shape out, and then carve him out with your Dremel. Even just putting a uh, little cone shaped bit in and outlining everything and then painting it will do it okay and then paint up your pumpkin the way you want so that's number two hope you enjoyed that one we'll keep compiling them and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching everyone bye bye now